lot. Well, surf's up. Maybe not so much today. And in fact, the HIC Pro just called off. Uh, Marty Thomas here just made that call, thanks to Cam's report here. Um, yeah. <laughs> That's true. I Cam's just, uh, responsible for calling off the uh, HIC Pro now. No, it's uh, the 31st annual Vanstable Crown Surfing Premier Event kicks off next week. And with us this morning is contest director Marty Thomas. Thanks for coming in this no morning. No worries, Jill. It's good to be here. Yeah, so the HIC Pro was actually the qualifier, the local qualifier for the Crown. That's right. Crown, we have right? one day left. We're down to the final 32 surfers of the HIC Pro. Um, it's looking like Saturday will be the final day. The end of the waiting period is Sunday. Mm -hmm. um, and that is the local qualifier for the Vans Triple Crown of Surfing, where we're going to select the top nine regional surfers will get seated into the elite uh, group of surfers for the Vans Triple Crown. Yeah, this is like the Olympics in surfing. It here, is. That it's like the about. Super Bowl. The first two stops, Haliva and Sunset, are kind of the playoffs. And then you got the Billabong Pipe Masters, which uh, decides the world, world title. Yeah, okay. So who, who should we be looking for this well, year? Well, Kelly Slater and Mick Fanning are going head to head for the world title. And it's coming down to the last event. Kelly has to win the Pipe Masters to take, to take the title, and if Kelly wins, Mick has to get third to take the title. So it's going to be a heat-by-heat heat battle. But, and Mick has never actually won the uh, championship. That's right. Mick has never won the Triple Crown, and this year he is competing in all three events. The first event is the Reef Hawaiian Pro at Haleiwa, and then uh -huh. we have the Vans World Cup of surfing at Sunset, and then the last event is the Billabong Pipe Masters. And so he, he's hungry. Well, that's right. Um, Mick is committed to trying to win his, his third world title. He's in the lead, but he also wants to win the Triple Crown. There's a lot of prestige with winning the Triple Crown. It's like, it's, you know, almost there with winning the world title. Absolutely. And there's big money involved. This is no... That's, this that's that's right. There's over a million dollars in prize money. The first two events have a, a total prize money of $250,000 each, as well as the Pipe Masters is $450,000 with $75,000 going to the winner. Plus, we have a large bonus for the overall champion, which we haven't announced yet. Oh, okay. Can we do it yet? <laughs> no, we can't. All right. <laughs> All right. Well, what's different this year? It's actually being live streamed. Uh, That's right. The whole thing. Yeah, um, we have a huge broadcast. Uh, there's over 65 people behind the scenes bringing the live broadcast, not only to the web, but also to television. Oceanic Time Warner uh, broadcasts it here in Hawaii, but also on the mainland as well. Um, LA, San Diego, and the eastern um, surf cities as well. So All right. million, we had over 10 million unique view, uh, viewers last year during oh. the Triple Crown. So you're expecting even a bigger audience. That's right. We have a huge audience. And uh, all the information available online as well. That's right. Vans.com, uh, all the information. You can link to the, um, to the web mm -hmm. cast and you watch it on your mobile device, your computer, awesome. or at home on your TV. <laughs> People at work are going to be like checking That's out. That's right. <laughs> when, when, when we run a contest on the, uh, on the work day, the surf industry basically shuts down. <laughs> Marty, thanks so much for coming in this morning. We're looking forward to seeing what happens. Pleasure in the next to be few here. Weeks. Thank you. Uh,